linear equations. Let us start from the definition. We say that an equation of the form dy by dx plus p of x y is equal to q of x is called linear equation in y. This is linear equation in y. Now here the coefficient of y which is p of x. And on the right hand side we can see there is another function q of x. So by p of x we mean that there will be a function of x only. And similarly q of x is also a function of x only. Now if we have an equation of this form then that equation is called a linear equation. Let us see some examples. In the first example, I write an equation dy by dx plus xy is equal to x squared. This is an equation of the form one and this is called linear. Here p of x is x and q of x is x squared. Let me write another example, dy over dx plus e power x y is equal to sine x. This is an equation of the form one and this is called a linear equation. Here p of x is the coefficient of y which is e power x and q of x is sine x. Now if we are given an equation of the form one which is called linear, how we can solve that equation? How to obtain the solution? Let us see the method of solution. So if we are given an equation of the form one, you should always remember that integrating factor for that equation must be given by this thing, f is equal to e power p of x dx. p of x, you can see it is the coefficient of y. So the coefficient of y is p of x and we can obtain integrating factor from here that f is equal to e power integration of p of x dx. After obtaining the integrating factor, we should multiply equation one with that integrating factor. So if I multiply one with integrating factor, what I get? Let me multiply that. F into dy by dx plus p of x y and is equal to f q of x. Now remember that in each question when you simplify the left hand side it will always be equal to d by dx of two things. Integrating factor into the dependent variable which is y. So if you again differentiate f, in, f into y you will get the above terms. So this is equal to f q of x. Now from here you can see that we can write d of f into y is equal to f q of x dx. Just integrate both sides and you can see from the left hand side integration will cancel with derivatives and we will get f y is equal to integration of f 
into q of x dx and after simplification you will get the solution now let us solve any a question to see that how we can find the solutions of linear odes so let us write question number 1 here question number 1 question number 1 is solve the ordinary differential equation x minus 1 whole cube dy by dx plus 4 into x minus y whole square y is equal to x plus 1 in the first case you can see that in the linear differential equation in the standard form the coefficient of dy over dx is 1 so let us divide each term by x minus 1 whole cube and we will get that this is equal to dy by dx plus here i get 4 over x minus 1 y and here i get x plus 1 divided by x minus 1 whole cube and now you can see that equation 2 is of the form dy by dx plus p of x y is equal to q of x so the coefficient of y is p of x so here p of x is 4 over x minus y and now i can obtain integrating factor as we have studied that integrating factor for such type of equation will be f is equal to e power integration of p of x dx let us put value of p of x so if i put value the value is 4 over x minus 1 i am taking 4 outside of integration so this is 1 over x minus 1 dx let us integrate this we get e power 4 and this is now ln of x minus 1 if i further simplify this i will get e power ln of x minus 1 power 4 we use the rule of logarithm and this is equal to let us cancel ln with e so we get x minus 1 whole power 4 in other word i will say that integrating factor for this equation is x minus 1 whole power 4 now in the next step we have to multiply given equation number 2 with integrating factor so now i will multiply the given equation with integrating factor so 2 into integrating factor which is x minus 1 whole power 4 this implies that so if i multiply 4 with that i get x minus 1 whole power 4 into i get dy by dx plus 4 over x minus 1 into y is equal to here i will get x plus 1 into x minus 1 because x minus 1 whole power cube will simplify with x minus 1 whole power 4 for okay now as i told you that in each question the left hand side will always be equal to d by dx of two things the product of two things what is the first thing the first thing is integrating factor 
integrating factor is x minus one whole power four and the dependent variable, which is y. In each question, you will get that thing. Now, if you differentiate the left hand side, this one, then this is first function, that one is second function. So if you apply the product rule, you will automatically get the above left hand side. And this is now equal to x square minus one by using formula a plus b into a minus b. Let us simplify this. We can get d of x minus one whole power four into y is equal to x square minus one dx. Just integrate both sides. So if I integrate both sides, d and integration will cancel from the left hand side and I get x minus one whole power four into y is equal to. And now let us integrate the right hand side. So I get x cube divided by three minus x plus c. And that is the required solution for this problem. Now, let us solve another problem. But before to solve the problem, let me explain one thing more. I will write the definition once again. I say an equation of the form dx over dy plus p of y x is equal to q of y is called linear equation in x. The first was linear equation in y, but here you can see the dependent variable is x. So I said this is linear equation in x. Sometimes you can find a question in which the dependent variable will be x. So you can see in that case, the coefficient of x is p of y. Integrating factor must be equal to f is equal to e power p of y dy. And the remaining procedure is same. So let me, let us solve a question to understand this definition. Question number two. Solve the ordinary differential equation x plus 2y cube into dy by dx is equal to y. Now, to find the linear form, let us divide both sides by the coefficient of dy by dx. So I will get dy over dx is equal to y over x plus 2y cube. Now you can see it is not possible to obtain an equation which is linear in y from here. So what I do, let me write the next step. I take the inverse of the left hand side and right hand side. So I write dx over dy. Similarly, from the right hand side, I can obtain x plus 2y cube divided by y. If I divide each term by y now, I will get 1 over yx plus 2 y squared. So if I write it in more simple form, I can write dx over dy minus 1 over y into x is equal to 2y squared. And now you can see that this is an equation of the form star. It is linear in x now, you can see it. 
So what will be integrating factor? F is equal to integration of coefficient of x, which is minus y. Let us take minus as common. So I take one over y dy. Let us simplify this. We get minus ln y. If I further simplify, I get ln y power minus one. From this, I can get one over y. So integrating uh, integrating factor for this equation is this one, one over y. F is equal to one over y. So as f is equal to one over y, I will multiply, let me say this is equation number three. So I will multiply three with integrating factor, which is one over y. And this implies that one over y into d by d y of x minus one over y x is equal to here i will get two y and as i told you that in each question the left hand side must be equal to d by dy now this is differentiation with respect to y so must be equal to d by dy the product of two things the first thing is integrating factor which you obtain the second thing is the dependent variable now if you apply the product rule and find d or dy of one over y into x you will obtain the above thing so it is obvious you can try this and this is now equal to 2y so let us simplify this thing i get d of x over y is equal to 2y dy. Now, if I integrate both sides, what we get? D and integration will cancel. Here I will get x over y is equal to, let us take 2 as common. So here I will get y square divided by 2 plus c. 2 will cancel with 2. So what I get now, I get x over y is equal to y square plus c. And that is the required solution for this problem.